There's a term used by practically all coaches and therefore by practically all athletes um, called the catch, which relates to the, the motion, the movement of putting the spoon into the water and starting the stroke. Um, I am reluctant to use that, that word because it covers two separate things. One is the, the placement into the water and the other is the beginning of the stroke. Um, the way that these two skills are learnt and practised and explained and uh, I, the way that they fit together, it's important that they are seen as two separate things. The placement is not the beginning of the stroke. In fact, the way that I coach it, the placement is the end of the slide. You sort of slide forwards to place the blade. You don't slide forwards and then place the blade. And then after you place the blade, you take the stroke. So let's just talk about the placement and the lock-on. The lock-on being the start of the stroke, when you sort of load the back, drive the legs and stuff like that, which is another video. Um, if you look at the, the handle end, as we've explained, we arrive at a certain point and then we put the blade in the water. Now that point is defined by variously our limb lengths, our flexibility, the way the boat is set up and so on and so forth. But given those reasonably consistent attributes, the, way, the place that I'm going to push, put my blade in the water is going to be consistent. And I would suggest that for the sake of this imagery, we imagine there's a sort of little bit of a wall here, just slightly off center because I'm going around the corner here at the beginning, at the, the, uh, the end of the recovery. So I'm going around the corner and here we'll just have a little bit of a wall and I can just touch the wall each time. Each time I start a stroke, I'm going to be touching that wall. Now I've also explained how the height of the handle is determined by the flotation of the, the spoon being at the surface. So the height of the handle is also going to be consistent. So why don't we put a little bit of a shelf on that wall? And then what we've got is a situation whereby the spoon is out of the water, the handle is low, I'm going to be coming forwards, waiting till I arrive at that wall, and then trying to find the shelf. And if I have a stable boat, then that wall and that shelf will be at the same point every single stroke. And I can start practicing good technique. I can start practicing consistency. And consistency breeds confidence. And confidence breeds control and other things beginning with C. So that is the idea of the wall and the shelf. It's something which I've, not only I, obviously as a coach, but all of the athletes that I've explained this to find it helpful to understand what they're trying to do at the beginning of the stroke. And it stops them from thinking in terms of starting the stroke aggressively and hitting the water and stuff like that. So the placement, firstly, is there, and then subsequently, we start the stroke in the water, which I'll cover in the video about propulsion.